How's it going everybody? This is Crash. This tutorial is part two and a half of my series on clipping. If you haven't watched the previous video, go do that now as I'll be referencing concepts discussed in both of those. So in the previous video, I discussed ways to find exploits, but I realized I kind of forgot a few things. I focused mainly on perch points and exploits and overlooked a few other types of clipping to look out for. Also, I learned a new technique since I released that video. Um, so let's just jump right into that part. This trick is done right here in Hammer and is super simple. Uh, the issue I had before with trying to find perch points and other clipping issues in Hammer was how how the uh, player clips are partially transparent and just look like a mess. Like it's it's not easy to see what's going on with like stuff like this here. It's just everything overlapping. To solve that issue, what we'll do is make sure we have just our clipping turned on and none of our other tool brushes. So we'll turn off all of our tool brushes and we'll click player clips or clips whatever you use. Uh, and then we'll also turn off game logic since none of that's collidable anyway. Um, so now we just have the basic clipping. This is this is what's solid in our map. So now we're going to go up to here to camera and we're going to select flat. Now this is going to look kind of familiar because this is pretty much what you're looking at in uh, in TF2 when you turn on uh, the player clips in the previous tutorial that I showed you. Um, so now you can kind of see all these smooth edges. You can see like I fixed over here, I put this little, this clip brush here. And you can see all that stuff in Hammer now. And you can also turn on, hit CM up at the top here, like before, and that's that's turning on your collision again. And you can see everything. Um, this works really well. I've used this a couple times since then, uh, since the tutorial, and it kind of saves me loading it up in a Hammer. But I still, I still at least do a couple passes. Uh, in TF2, not Hammer. Uh, I still do a couple passes in TF2 because I kind of gives me it kind of gives me a better way to look at things. So now in game, let's look at some of the other types of clipping issues that we can find in a map. These are not necessarily as game breaking as high up perch points and other exploits, but it's still the stuff that players really appreciate you doing, even if they don't realize that it's there. This is the if you're doing it right, no one notices it type of thing. So we're here on Payload Gold Rush, one of the earlier Valve made maps that I feel has some notorious clipping issues, and I'm about to show you. This is mostly focusing on the smoothing type clipping. So again, we're going to turn on our draw clip brushes 2 and V collide wireframe 1. So now what we want to do is run around as scout and slide across all the all the different walls and props and try to find places that we can easily get caught up on. These are the types of clipping issues that players will find most and are extremely frustrating for them. If you're trying to run away, you don't want to end up caught on the map and get killed because of it. I do everything in my power to make it so the player dies because of their own mistakes rather than mine as a mapper. So now we're going to look around here and right away, like this thing, this is horrible. You can get caught up in each little point here and that is a big issue. That is not something I would put in. Especially we have a health and an ammo pack right in front of it. That means it's going to be a high traffic area and it's even underneath it. That is so frustrating to me and <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a little heated here because clipping is some serious business to me um, but a player is gonna try to grab this real quick and they can easily get caught up on these and they could die because of it same with this spot here this is one of my most frustrating spots in the game uh, I play a lot of sniper and when I play sniper I don't usually tend to go to the real obvious spots like up here and look down I stand here and I cover this door and I cover this these two ledges here and this side and a little bit in that Right there, and I have a full health pack here, and this this is my spot right here. And I have this massive clipping issue sticking out in my face. And it drives me nuts whenever I see it. Someone can come attack me, I'll try to back up and get caught by it. Um, so I would definitely put some clipping there if this was my map. Up here, another atrocious spot. All this, all these beams, all these edges, all these lips. This, this map has a ton of issues on it. This edge here... Same on the inside, you can get caught on. These little edges here, I would clip. This edge here. Gold Rush is disgusting, clipping-wise. <laughs> I, I actually do enjoy Gold Rush, but the clipping is terrible. And they started doing some clipping. You can see right here, they clipped these beams. The, these are not bad at all. This is a nice, smooth edge. That's how the whole map should be, but it's not. They did this section. I don't know if they somebody else worked on it, or if they just didn't do a lot of the clipping on the map, but... It's very different from some other parts on the map. Same with these down here. You can get caught up on these, trying to back up to get away. Dead stop. Now, one of the other things that I try to think about is instead of just horizontal clipping, like walls and brushes and all that sort of thing, uh, any of the detailing, is I try to think vertically as well. 
which isn't something that everybody thinks about. Lips like this right here. With stairs, the reason why we clip stairs are so you don't get the juddery effect. Like when you see when you walk up this, it's a sudden pop pushing you up. If it was stairs, you'd go da -da 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 -da, all the way up it. As well as jumping, if you would jump on stairs that aren't clipped, and you've probably seen this on some other maps. I think Gorge has a set of staircases that are like that. If you jump on them, you, you dead stop. And that's because you're hitting the flat plane and it's stopping you. It's lose, making you lose your forward motion. So something like this, you can hit. You don't always hit it right there. See, that's a full dead stop Attention. that should not exist in the map. You could be in the middle of a fight, trying to jump away, and just because you jumped at the wrong time, now you're getting stopped by the, the map. So that's that's a frustrating thing. I would put a little ramp right there. Um, same with these. I don't know why. I guess that, that, that would be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But this bottom step here, I wouldn't make that flat. I would make that come straight out. No one's going to notice it. And you're going to avoid the, the vertical issues like that. Um, same with overhead beams. These sort of things here. Uh, especially for rocket jumpers and sticky jumpers or, or you know any, any kind of jumping classes. They tend to hit their head on ceilings a lot more. And you don't want them getting caught up on stuff. Like this is a dead stop because I'm hitting at the wrong point. I'm doing a double jump at the wrong time. If I'm in the middle of a fight, I'm not going to be looking at ceiling beams to see if they're there. I would either make those non-solid or clip them. Um, so let's go over to Glassworks and see how I solve some of those problems real quick. Okay, so for Glassworks, I try to make sure I'm thinking about overhead beams and clipping, especially in rollout areas, because that's the place that you absolutely do not want people to get caught up on. So if you look here, you can see I've got these beams up here that look like they would be a place you get caught up on, and I also have this that's obviously very solid. Um, so let's say someone's jumping and they go across the ceiling. If they go straight up, they're getting caught on that. That's, that's going to happen. However, as a rollout, you should be going forward, not straight up. You should be going this way. So if there's a, there's a problem with that, um, they're having their own kind of issues. So that won't be my fault. Um, but then we also have these ceiling beams up here. Let's see if I can actually hit one of them. And you can see I, I sailed right through it. Wow, I went really far. <laughs> you can see I sailed right through it because I what I did is I made it what I did is I made it a brush entity and I made it non-solid. So that is not actually solid geometry. And it's far enough that I didn't feel like stickies could get hidden in it. It's pretty thin. You can still see it. That's not going to be an issue. You just have to worry about doing that around doorways and things that could cause other problems. And you can see, like, right here, all this clipping. This is nice, smooth, smooth walls. You don't get caught up on anything here. That's too small to actually get caught up on, so I didn't even bother putting any clipping there. Same with, I put, you can see here, there's this model and the pipe going up. So to smooth things out and keep this transition nice and smooth, I put some more clipping here. And that's not going to be a thing anyone's, anyone's going to notice that you're standing on in a weird spot because that's all, you know, that's, that's normal in TF2. Now another thing I try to think of is when you're jumping up onto places and how where edges are sticking out at. So like say this spot over here, you can see I put a little ramp going up so if someone's jumping up underneath it they slide up it instead of getting caught on it and then i have the this part stick out a tiny little bit so if you're sliding down this smooth face here you land on this edge and that allows it so you can jump right up get caught on the edge and continue on preferably probably not that high but you know um that's the sort of thing that players who are playing a ton on your map are going to find eventually so it's worth it to put the work in ahead of time and find those problems and solve them before the players do um, you don't want anything influencing the player to think your map is bad other than the map itself and the, the gameplay of it so if they're getting clipping issues and they're being affected by things that are in your control you should solve them ahead of time so that's sort of what i do and i'm very obsessive about my clipping and everything is smooth that i can possibly make smooth all my ceilings, everything is as smooth as possible, and I highly recommend you do it to your own maps as well. Um, because you know, there's there's no reason not to. There's no reason to take a little bit, not to take a little bit of time and solve these things. 
So I think that about wraps it up. Uh, part three should be coming pretty soon, and we'll jump right into Hammer and actually show how I manipulate brushwork and manipulate the models and collisions to solve our issues. So I will see you in the next video.